My friends, our challenge is we are supposed to be a person of peace. So when we come to the dinner table with strangers who don't share our faith, don't share our background, don't understand our story, you get to share a little piece of you every time you stand with another person. And you get to edify them because what you're going to speak of is God at work in your life. And over time, sometimes it'll feel like suddenly they understand. But as we all understand, there's no such thing as suddenly. Suddenly always has a backstory. Suddenly always has a backstory. Jesus is at work. The Holy Spirit is at work. And we just need to tell God's story. Because faith-focused people tell the story of God and self-focused people tell the story of self. And I want my life to tell the story of God. And I want you to see that when you witness me. So, when faith and family collide, (laughs) remember, when you walk into the room, whatever your personality, your spiritual posture should be one of peace. Should be one of peace. Because everyone's got a backstory. Everyone's got a backstory. Most people have had an interaction with someone that said they were representing Jesus that didn't represent Jesus well. So we need to trust that the next person they witness represents Jesus well. My friends, if I could challenge you, be a person of peace. Let's laugh about the awkward stuff that's happened where you've tried to do the witnessing and mumbled across the words. But remember, when the Holy Spirit nudges you and says, share now, that's usually a good time to share. Not when another human being says, go do it. It doesn't quite work that way. You're the person of peace. And if you know, and if you've seen, and if you hope, then you have a story to tell. And you have glory to give to God.